Good day to you. I'm Father Marshall Keith Shelley. I'm the rector here at St. Peter's Episcopal Church, and I am doing a test to sort of get us off the ground on these video postings, both for worship and formation. This one is actually going to be edited and prepared for your enjoyment and hopefully your edification. For the past 15 years, I have kept a blog. It's called New Ministry, New Paths, and can be found on Blogspot. Uh, lately, I've been using my blog on a daily basis to uh, write and meditate upon Scripture. St. Peter's began the Bible Challenge as of Ash Wednesday in 2020 this year, uh, and we've been going through the Bible throughout. So we have about 29 days in so far. Um, I'm actually going to offer you the first day's readings. This is from Ash Wednesday. It is uh, from chapters 1 to 3 of Genesis, Psalm 1, and Matthew 1. So please enjoy, and uh, please like and subscribe, and click on the bell if you wish to uh, receive further notifications from this playlist for the videos. The title of this blog post is Alpha, the First Moment. And now, what is space like? Astronauts describe the smell of space as being something like the residue of welding, fi welding fumes, so akin to the smell of charred meat or hitting the senses with an acrid tone of ozone and burning metal. I wonder if the void, that collection of non-moments uh, that came before God moved and spoke light and life into existence, smelled like that, or if it had any smell at all. For us, though, I think that the song of creation is more about explaining now our situation, our life, rather than explaining what happened then. When I teach the story of creation to children, I ask them to see this part of scripture as a way that the ancients sought to begin to answer the first questions, the ones that begin with why. Why is the sky blue? Why is water wet? Why do some things swim? Some crawl and walk and others fly. Why do we walk on two legs while cattle walk on four? Why do people make bad choices? Why do they make good ones? The song of God creating the heavens and the earth is not an empirical science. It is a poem of being and becoming. It is our song as much as it is God's. The line I always look for in the opening scriptures of the Bible arrives when God resolves to make humanity from the earth, fashioning a figure from mud and then blowing breath, ruach, holy wind, into its nostril in order to make it a living thing. It's this collection of first moments that begins every journey with God, those first steps that seek to Established between God, the creator, and humanity, the created, a relationship that explains how we are connected to God and to each other. It is our beginning. It is the Alpha, the first moment. We echo that sentiment in the first psalm, the first song in the collection of hymns and poems that begins with, Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. We remember how we stumble and fall from the ideal of a full relationship with God and how we strive to answer God's call to turn and return. That return is summed up for Christians in the gospel testimonies and the first chapter of Matthew sets the tone of answering questions not only of why now, but also of who and how. Who is this Jesus? and How does he come to us? This is an ancient tale that renews us. This is a song that we have forgotten that we need to remember, recalling who we have been in order to begin to be who God is calling upon us to become. Thank you for joining me today for day one of the Bible Challenge broadcasts. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, will continue to join us in the future. Please click like and subscribe, as well as hitting the bell for notifications of further opportunities to receive these videos and notice of their completion. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day. And above all, as always at St. Peter's, whether you are coming or going, we always say to you, welcome home.